Hey guys, welcome to K Jorgensen TV. My name is Kevin, and for today's adventure, Overland for Low, we'll be exploring Peace, uh, Peace Arizona Trail. Arizona Peace, Peace Trail. Arizona Peace Trail. Overland for Low, we'll be exploring Arizona Peace Trail. Ready, guys? Ready. Ready. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Rick, our trail event organizer and also our trail leader for today's adventure. So Rick, tell us where are we going today? Uh, we're going all the way down to the middle Chipola Lake. We're just south of uh, Ekmanburg, heading to Yuma along the Arizona side of the uh, Colorado River. It's a section of the uh, Arizona Peace Trail and we're just doing one section. So we're gonna go down uh, halfway, find a spot we can get access to the uh, river or our lake there and uh, have some fun. And if uh, you're retired, go with Rick because he's lonely sometimes, you know. <laughs> If you're retired, go with Rick. So we are here in our first campsite. Um, everyone is getting ready to head out. But uh, I just arrived here maybe a couple of hours ago. Um, they camped here last night. I didn't get a chance to camp out because I have work. <laughs> but here's our crew. Uh, we have Pierre Rolly. Okay, Rolly, are you ready? <laughs> oh yeah, we're ready. Ready? Yeah. What time you got here last night? Oh, we got in here like around... Uh, actually, not last night morning, right? Well, actually, we were here like around 2.30. Then uh, we had a dinner at uh, uh, Dennis. Dennis, then come back here campsite. Then we uh, reconned the campsite. Then we went to swim around, went to the trail, and uh, head back to the meeting place. Okay. Yeah. You have a good day, and uh, we're looking forward on a good trail. Right, trail. Kevin will, uh, Kevin will keep you updated. <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. See Ben. <laughs> How are you, Ben? Hey, hey. From Propang, Propang Apple Overlanders and Trail Frontier. Honestly, man, you have two channels. Why was that? <laughs> yeah, so I could like my videos. <laughs> How was your name? Brandon. What's up, Brandon? How old are you, Brandon? Eleven. Eleven. And we have Buster. And Buster. What's up, Buster? What's up, Buster? Buster, I can't get you the camera. You're too fast. Buster's too. Buster's hyper. Please watch the video. It's interesting. <laughs> Subscribe and give them a thumbs up. Thank you, Kiroli. Uh, uh, to look left again. Ten four. Go ahead, Ben. I'll take uh, sweep left. Ten four. 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 So only four of us today. We have Rick, uh, Rubia Roli, uh, Ben, and me. And according to Rick, today's road is mostly like a flat road. You see cotton on the uh, right side of the field. Here we are, we just set off <laughs> about a thousand yards and we're right next to the river and we're setting up the drones. Beautiful. It's warming up at the sun. It's only supposed to be in the low 80s, like 82 or so. River's low. Looks like they had a little fire here. We're on the Arizona side and the other bank is California. So like Rick said, this is the Arizona side and the other side is the California side. And we are by the uh, Colorado River. The Arizona Peace Trail is an off-roading trail in western Arizona running between Yuma and Bullhead City. For our trip, we are only doing the west side of the Peace Trail which is about 100 miles. 
This trail is rated as 4x4 in moderate difficulty, uh, but obviously trail can be different if you have an all-wheel drive or two-wheel drive vehicle. Arizona Peace Trail got its name from La Paz, which is Spanish for the peace. The whole trail is estimated to about 675 miles in Mojave, Yuma, and La Paz County. The beginning of a trail is easy dirt road, a little dusty and sometimes it's hard to see what's in front, uh, but beautiful views from both sides of the trail. Right, Rick. Hello. Where are we right now? Uh, Chibola. Chibola. Uh, water lake preserve, whatever it is. It's, it's not the lake yet, but the lake off to the side. Nice. Uh, this is one of the bridges, so it's paved here, but uh, the trail, the Peace Trail, is that way. We're gonna go there. Then we're gonna go there. So. You've been trying to avoid those pin stripes, huh?
some reason the Gaia GPS is not working here Ten for uh, we're turning back. Unfortunately, we're heading up this ravine. Uh, that's the and that's not the way we want to go. Copy. Just uh, split off somewhere. Over here guys, our GPS start acting up. For some reason, we couldn't get a pinpoint location of where we are on the trail. Uh, we doubled back a few times and eventually we found the right one. I wasn't recording. Chabola <laughs> Cabin. I made Doritos, so it's ah. Chabola Cabin. This historic cabin was built in 1910 by Carl Bishop as a second home. Lovely. When the river overflowed, it was no longer possible to live in the valley of the floor here. So this is all lowland. So it floods. It yeah, used to flood before the dams were all built. And because uh, of the Hoover Dam was built in the 30s and then they built the other one farther up. It's amazing, it's still, oh, it's, you know, it still stands a little it's bit. A log cabin, definitely looks like a log cabin. Oh, look at those pinch stripes. Look at that pen. <laughs> Look at the pinstripes. <laughs> Look at those pinstripes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got them, but they buff out. <laughs> I got some pinstripes, but they'll buff out. <laughs> it's only that on the it's your color. color. It's not really on the surface. It's it's well, I bet you some of mine. Yeah. Back. So we are now driving away from the Colorado River and headed towards the mountains. Guys, let's let's check it out. We're at the uh, Trigo Mountain Wilderness. Trigo Mountains are here. We're gonna go next to it 
for a while, go back to the river, and then cut into the uh, mountains again. All right. So okay. we were just at the river. We came away from it. This is a wash here, a big wash. Oh, so you, how are you, Kiroli? I'm doing good, man. I'm just having fun. <laughs> it's just beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. Yeah, I think there's a reason why they call this peaceful trail because it's so quiet and the breeze is uh, yeah, I mean, relaxing. Yeah, uh, I one of the other people yeah. on, uh, that did the trail on YouTube was saying, oh, they see all the DTV go by. Yeah. You know, what do we see? One guy. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's like it's, well, we it's, have the old trail by, by ourselves, yeah. right? So far, that's what I've been doing. We haven't seen anyone. <laughs> wait, wait, did you get a video of that thing that we went up? And I, 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 I didn't get it. Which one? The one where the we big get hill? Up? Yeah, the big oh, hill. Oh no, I got on drone. I got on drone. That is cool, man. We're it's good. gonna get more interesting because if we go through the mountain, it's a wash though. You're gonna be surrounded hey, Kevin, by mountains. I'm gonna drop some of my. Uh, So we are now driving down into the wash. So the road here is a little rocky. Um, I currently have my tires on 18 PSI, so it wasn't too bumpy for me. I think so far it's not bad. I think the trail is still easy for 4x4 vehicles and I think some of the all-wheel drive can do this trail. Lunch. Scrubby tree. In, a, in the trigo. Trigo water. Chili. <laughs> oh, Chili dog. <laughs> Chili dog. <laughs> she doesn't want me to put the awning out. So. Oh. Guys, we just finished our lunch break. And we're now gonna finish this trail. So we are oh, now approaching so these uh, two sets this of obstacles. Cool. From here on out, it's gonna be a moderate difficulty trail just because of this uh, technical sections. This is called skills test. Wait a second. Really? This is a trail? I better go check it out. Okay. Adele's behind the wheel. Keep straight. Yep, go up. You're good, go up. Go 
Hold it, driver, Ben. Driver, driver. Driver, driver. More driver. More driver. Are you in polo? Driver, driver. More driver. Okay. Passenger now. Just keep your wheels straight. Here we go. You wanna straddle this, go to the pass right there, perfect. And then now turn passenger hard. Perfect. We only covered 100 miles of Arizona Peace Trail. We made a few more stops along the way. Um, some of the places are privately owned, but I definitely would want to come back here and explore the other areas. Very thankful to all the crew that showed up today and thank you to Rick and Adele right, for Rick. inviting us and mapping out this trail. Yeah, we're good, thank you. Please, yeah. we're done. <laughs> Time for food. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next adventure.